Hi, this is Andy with Connie Technical Support. I'd like to show you how to configure the Auto Trace Select feature on your Ricoh printer. This will enable you to load each one of your paper sources with a different paper size. And when you send a print job to the printer for that paper size, it'll automatically pull the paper you're looking for. For this tutorial, we're going to use a Ricoh GX7000 with both the optional bypass tray and the optional tray 2 installed. Just to show you the full capabilities of this printer. We want to start on the printer itself. Select the menu key and then arrow down to paper input. Once here you want to hit the enter key. Select tray paper size. Hit the enter key again. And that's going to take us to tray 1. For tray 1 we're going to set up 8.5 by 11 paper. Hit the enter key and then for this selection you want to select the proper paper size and hit the enter key again. You'll notice that the, same, the paper size shows up with an asterisk beside it. That lets us know that we have that paper size selected. At this point, you want to escape back until you see tray paper size tray 1, and then arrow down to tray 2. Take the same process, hit the Enter key, select the paper size you want. We're going to select 8.5 by 14 paper size for tray 2, and hit Enter. The asterisk appears to let us know we have it selected correctly. We hit the escape back to tray 2, and then arrow down to the bypass tray. Select the enter key. Now for the bypass tray, we're going to set up the optional 13 by 19 paper. Since this is the only tray that this paper will feed through, you want to scroll up or down until you get to custom size and hit the enter key. We'll have to configure this manually. The first thing that pops up is horizontal. You want to set this to 12.99 inches and hit enter. That takes us to the vertical. You want to set this to 19.00 inches and hit enter here. You'll notice that the custom paper size now has the asterisk letting us know that this is selected. Hit the escape key until you get back to paper input tray paper size. From this point you want to arrow down until you get to paper type. You want to hit the enter key, then again select tray 1. You're going to come up saying plain paper, which is the default setting. From here, you want to arrow down until you get to inkjet plain paper. Select the enter key to select it, and again, you'll notice the asterisk appear, letting us know that that paper type is selected. Hit the escape back to tray 1, and arrow down to tray 2. We're going to do the same procedures for both tray 2 and the bypass tray. Arrowing down and selecting the inkjet plain paper for each. Once you have this configured on all three paper sources, you want to escape back to paper input, paper type, and arrow down to auto tray select. And we need to turn, make sure the auto tray select feature is enabled for all paper sources. First select tray 1. If it comes up with an off with an asterisk, you want to arrow down to on and hit the enter key. We see the asterisk let us know that it is on on this particular tray. Arrow down to tray 2 and follow the same procedures for each paper source. When you're finished, hit the online key and bring your printer back to a ready state. Now that we have the printer configured, it's time to print our artwork. Open the application, select file and print, then all we have to do is go into the printer settings. From here we go to the page settings tab, just select the paper side you're going to print from. Using the Condi ICC setting, paper source is automatically going to have auto trace select configured. So regardless of the paper size you choose, it's going to print from the proper tray. If you have any problems or questions, please contact Cottony Technical Support at 1-800-826-6332, option 2, 
or send an email to support at condi.com.